So a coworker of mine found out that I work on small engines. And then he also inquired to me, what about McCullough? And I told him, that's actually what my specialty is. So after a few weeks of going back and forth, and he telling me the models that he has and getting with his dad and everything, they uh, gave me these two to fix. But one of them is there still. The other one I get to keep. So we're just going to jump right in on in here, and we're going to go ahead, and we're going to get started introducing these two future projects. Welcome to Mr. Matt Grace. Thanks all for following. So, the MC-49 here and the MC-30, they have a couple stories behind them. And I've got the story here, and i got to say, it is, it's, uh, it's just amazing to be able to go and work on these kinds of things right here. Um, they were, this one, they won't be put into a chainsaw for him, at least the MC-30, I don't know. I, I know this one, the MC-49. This is the one that I will be fixing for them. In exchange for payment, they said, we will give you this MC-30. And I have a story for both of them. Like I said, um, I was just blown away when I saw this MC-49 has a Hortzman muffler on it. These are quite rare, hard to find. And the sound, I'm told, is unique to them. Is absolutely stunning to see that on this. Dual exhaust ports on it. I mean, this little tiny thing. Highly desired muffler. I can't wait to hear them run. Also features a GEM paper style air filter on it. It is just amazing on this. I mean, it is an absolutely immaculate shape for its age and everything. I'm pretty sure we can get it run. The engine's not stuck. It does have compression. It was a little stuck when I first got it. Um, it had that like thick oil stuck to it. And then after uh, it came free, compression was there. That's as far as I've gone. I will not be running it in its current state. Try to run it in its current state because it is not mine. What I have agreed that I will do is I will be putting fresh seals and gaskets inside of it. Getting the carb rebuilt. Hopefully, we can reuse this carburetor. Um, I do. I was told there was a kit in the box. I haven't looked. I, I looked, but there what bag there was, I couldn't see and everything. So we're gonna see if we can get this original carburetor here, all working on it, supposedly original. It does feature the holder for the engine. To go onto the cart, show off this beautiful muffler, MC49, 80cc I think it is, pretty sure, the clutch is on it, it's just in beautiful shape, the teeth are there, it is just, it's immaculate, it's an immaculate shape. I think that's the old flatback carburetor. I think that's what those are, flatbacks for these. Just stunning, the shape it is in. Now the 30 here, I haven't torn it down or anything, but it was a, it's a basket case, is what it is. And it was, kind of, it was kind of put back together real quick by Michael's dad. So there's a little loose ends and stuff on it. The flywheel's loose, the coil's loose, everything is just loose on it, which is fine. But I suspect the way it was bought, it may have some internal damage. There's no needle bearings either. Cart labs. Hopefully you all can see that. Big old muffler, well, exhaust. It doesn't look like it has much run time on it either. But I do suspect internal damage. That will probably be a later video for sure. But I've been after one of these for four years. I don't know why. Why one of those? I've got two blocks. I've got a crankshaft to one over here. That's all boogered up on the end. It came with one of the blocks. I, I don't know why I was after a 
30. There's something about it, maybe. Maybe it's the chrome. I don't know. But I do what I do know is I have the story with these typed by Michael's dad. So you got to think of him saying it and everything. So got a great story. Goes great to, with the 101s here because Michael's dad loves 101 engines. So we'll get on with the story. This was from my dad. The 101 was the cart he raced. I believe we have a photo of it. I don't have that photo of it yet. I'll try to get that and hopefully in the video, if it does appear up, of the rebuild of the 49 to show it to you guys. The 49 engine was given to my dad by a coworker in about 2002 and sat in his garage on the bench. His coworker had grown up on a farm and he and his brother bought the engine and cart in the 60s. They sold the cart but kept the engine until their parents passed away and sold the farm. He remembered that I had a cart as a kid with a 101, so gave the engine to my dad. I wouldn't guess, I would guess it hasn't ran since the 80s. We're talking 40 years easy that this engine has not ran, more or less. Could even be the 70s. Well, we'll see. But I'm definitely going to say 80s. The 30 I bought from a friend, all disassembled in a toolbox. We had a cart with a Mac 9. Those are hard to find. I still have not really seen many of those. And it locked up in the first lap of a race. I bought this engine for parts. I had another friend rebuild the 9 for the double pumper carburetor that was on it, and he used the 30 carburetor on the 9 so we could sell it. I've had the 30 since 1978, so I'm glad someone else can have some fun with it. Let's hope we can have fun with it. Whether it needs board out, you know, new pistons, stuff like that, that is the goal. It is missing its needle bearings, as I've said, so I have a suspicion that it has spit them out or they were reused. And as for a 101, the 101 was just an awesome car. It was a McCullough car and engine. Unfortunately, I bought it with two other people, and I didn't have the money or the space to keep it. We had bought it for the Central Catholic High School race in 1977. Central Catholic High School is just right to my right, to my west of my house. Literally less than a five-minute walk from here. I wonder what happened to such programs where they were racing car engines, cart-driven, you know, just carts in general like this. I don't hear of it happening anymore. A lady my mom worked with was storing it in her garage for her nephew, and he had lost interest in it. It had an electric 12-volt belt starter and center mount engine. We came, we came in third in the race because the center track caused the sprocket gear to round off. Which, this one's in good shape, so I would assume the sprocket one would be on the wheel. Would be on the wheel, the axle, and it just rounded over. So, this engine probably could have raced first, got first. I don't even know if it has modifications, porting, nothing. We're going to find that out. Somehow, it had such a great sound. Oh, it was a crowd pleaser. It had such great sound. That muffler, I've never heard of that. You know, heard of it. Heard out of it. Somehow, word had gotten about the cart, and the original kid that had raced it when it was new Came to see it at the race. That is a story I have on these two engines, especially the family's MC49 and how it came to be theirs. And I cannot wait to jump in to be able to get started on this excellent project here and whatnot. Hopefully here soon. Uh, work has us working a lot of hours. Me and Michael, we are co-workers. We work you know, on the same area, everything, and talk a lot. So they will keep updated a lot sooner on this than you guys will. But I'm hoping to be able to get started on this here real soon, get her disassembled, cleaned up, new, uh, new seals, new gaskets, and all that good stuff. I don't want to start it in its current state. I don't want to ruin, potentially ruin something that's inside of it, whatever, uh, or something about to let go. Uh, if I can't get this original carburetor going, I said I would try to figure out something else to help out with that and to get it going that way. Either way, we will be getting this thing going at some point. 
and I'm super excited. This is one time you will not see something of mine go into a chainsaw frame. But the MC49 is very, is shares the same block. I should say the 250 shares the same block as an MC49. That is about their only similarities. Other than that, this has a tapered crank and I think a different piston in it, but I'm not sure. I know the later MC49s went to a thick ring piston. Thin ring, my mistake. Thin ring piston. This might still have a thick ring if it's never been modified or into. So if that's the case, then I'll have to see about if I can possibly get piston rings. If not, like I say, the compression, it still felt great on it. So don't want to do any pulling over. I haven't put any lube down the cylinder, nothing. Got it just enough to do that and walked away. The 30, don't know. But if you guys have an idea what to put the 30 in, when we get to that point, it could be months from now before that, because we got this to get going, and then there may be some other stuff in front of it. But if this needs work, we'll get that sent off the Terry Ives to get that going. But I just wanted to make an introduction video showing the future projects that are coming to the table here. And hopefully you all will be just as excited to see it see both of these running as I am. I'd like to get a cart frame to put these in. They seem to be hard to get your hands on. But I'm just ecstatic that I get the, the pleasure to work on these. Do you have any ideas what you like say you want to see that in? Let me know. I like like say find a a good vintage frame to put that in to possibly be able to race and show off to people. I'll be asking the car guys around about more on that that. But say just keeping this video short, sweet, and to the point. Because like say I'm limited on time. Unfortunately. Say, hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and uh, you'll be seeing these in the very near future. At least this one. You will be seeing it in the near future to get it going. But until then, I just want to say thanks for watching, and uh, stay safe, everybody.